when do you think there could be a possibility of, I don't know if we'd call it citizens rising up, but perhaps citizens who are very, very angry with the fact that they can't pay their rent and that the $1,200 check that they were promised from the federal government has so far not yet arrived for anyone. Do you think the longer and longer that's put off, both in terms of getting the check and you know people not being able to pay for their rent, their car, their house, whatever, stuff like that, do you think there will eventually be a tipping point where people will riot in the streets and maybe for just reasons? Wow. What a great, great question. Here's, here's what's the situation, and it's getting much worse by the day. The $1,200, as you said, is a Band-Aid on a, on a patient with three gunshot wounds. It's going to stop one of them a little bit, but it's not what the patient needs. Um, and every day that goes by, more and more blood is being lost. Most people are already broke. Most people can't figure out how to buy food. They don't have money for gas. And you sure as hell know they're not paying their rent. Every day that goes by, it gets worse. $1,200 was just a Band-Aid on gunshot wounds. At a certain point, here's the real conundrum. The president said today, we are looking to open up the economy starting in a few weeks. The governors of some of the states that you guys mentioned are saying, no, we're not going to open up our states. So you got two problems. Number one, the states have different regulations and are announcing different rules for procedures for unlocking the economy and getting things going again. Number two, that is a conflict with the federal government. If the federal government says, OK, start it up, and the states say no, and you're one of those people in an apartment going wacky, can't work, can't eat, can't drive, can't uh, associate with friends, have no social life, want to get back to work, want to get back to normalcy, who are you going to protest against, the governor or the president? My guess, you're going to vote your pocketbook, which is now empty, and you're going to vote for food, of which you don't have any, and you're going to want a normal life. Now, what does that lead to? Uh, organizations that want to vote out the people in power in November? Or is it going to get more violent and people are going to take to the streets? And then you've got the police and in some cases the National Guard. And who are they going to side with? The people in the streets who are starving or the politicians who are making really, really possibly unconstitutional decisions about your life? I don't know the answer to that. Barry, when do the when do the riots start? I don't think it's a matter. I don't think it's a matter of when it's or if it's going to be when. I mean, at what point? Where's the breaking point? We saw about a third of the people couldn't pay their rent in April, so it's you know it's going to be worse off in May. The government's doing absolutely nothing to step in and correct this. I mean, nothing. Even that twelve hundred dollars they're screwing around getting people the money. When does it when does it start? I think I. It, that's like saying, you know, when do the stars get bright at night? I, I'm not that good at prognostication, but it, it, the pain is going to get so bad and so pervasive, it'll be ubiquitous, Kent. If you've got, like in Los Angeles, as an example, an enormous city, an enormous city, when half the people don't have food in the refrigerator, they're either going to go get the food by force or... They're going to be in the streets demanding the right to get the food, meaning I need a job, I need to work, I need to get out of my place, I want a normal life, and then and only then will the politicians' hands be forced. There's another possibility. You know, you've got some entertainers. Uh, I saw that this actress Arquette, I've seen Bill Maher, that are wishing, I mean this literally because they say it in public, I'm not intuiting it, I'm just reporting it, that they hope the economy stays flat. They hope there's a depression because they plan on that being the catalyst to get Donald Trump out of office. Ironically, people vote with their checkbooks, not because somebody in Hollywood said to do something. When you get hungry enough and the people that are telling you to stay hungry are rich and have a full refrigerator, and they don't need to work, and they've got servants that go and get them food, are you going to side with them? Or, Kent, 
Are you going to say, I got to feed my family? I got to go get something to eat. And you, Governor Newsom or Governor Pritzker or Governor Cuomo, are keeping me from feeding my family. It's going to be interesting. You're already seeing rioting, or not rioting, but a lot of picketing and a lot of protesting going on at the mayor's house here in, in Los Angeles, the Garcetti's house. Uh, you're starting to see that in Sacramento as well. I don't think anybody even knows if Gavin Newsom has an actual home anywhere, but uh, you're starting to see it in Sacramento. Um, I think he does, and it, it's really expensive. It's a couple million dollars. I looked it up a few years is ago. Is that true? Yeah, it's in Napa where they grow Shocking. wine. It's, it's very nice, yeah. Let yeah. me guess. Pub and he's got a wall around his house. I, sure. I, I don't know that. I never checked, but uh, I would not be surprised if there was. So, quick not question. On the we don't need a border wall, but we need one around my house. I don't want those people coming over uninvited. 